Hi there, my name is Vila Beckham, the new rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And I've been watching The Expanse, and The Expanse is back. Well, I've been watching the, I watched the first episode of The Expanse, New Terror, which this is a review of. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing reviews of the individual episodes. I doubt I'm going to do more than one day, because I like to savor my show. So that, that's my first complaint. Before I get to the show, I have two complaints. One, they're dropping it all in, in, one, go, in one, one go. Garrett Nerderonic was banging on about this as being a bad idea. I completely agree with him. Mandalorian, we're getting half an hour a week, and they're getting tons and tons and tons of coverage because of it. The Expanse is going to be forgotten about by New Year's. Easy. I mean, like, it's, it's gone. It's over. If you if you put your stuff out as a blip, that's what you're going to get, a blip. But they're putting out something pretty darn good. Ah, so my, my second complaint is I live in Israel. And we have, we do have Amazon Prime. So it's not as good as Netflix. Netflix, Netflix, you, uh, their interface is fantastic. You, they, you, you just get showed everything you can get, and it changes according to the region you're in. So uh, if you're in America, you get one set of Netflix. If you're in Israel, you get another. In England, another. Um, Amazon Prime, not so. Amazon Prime just says, well, this is everything we got. And then you go and click on anything, and they go, this is not available in your region. So for some inexplicable reason, The Expanse was on Netflix. Seasons 1 and 2 was on Netflix. They took, they, they took them off about a year ago whenever Amazon's contract took over. So I expect them to appear in Amazon Prime. Nope. So seasons one, two, and three, still unavailable in Israel. I wonder wait, if you're in another country, if they're available where you are. Uh, you know, I'm so incensed by this. I, I'm a very... Um, I, I try not to, like, steal things digitally uh, for, <laughs> for many, many reasons. I like Because I'm a crazy religious fanatic for being one. Um, but this one I feel like I pay for. I pay for Amazon Prime. Give me my bloody expanse. So I do have uh, um, HD versions on my hard drive, which I can't, which I actually tried to. I wanted to watch the first three seasons before this started. Just didn't have time. I'm sorry. What can I tell you? Too much. Go what else? Came, what came out last week? The Crown. <laughs> I was too much. I spent too much time watching The Crown. So to be able to do this with you, that might sound like sacrilege to you. Okay. So The Expanse came out. I'm not an Expanse super fan, but I do like it. And um, putting it back to back with the Mandal Star Wars, the Ma Mandalorian. Show me how much I really do like it. It's a clever, introspective show about real layered people. And uh, it seems to be real world politics put into a space situation. So where where the... Like, I didn't really remember where it left, left off. I remember they had that big that big O thing, the big, uh, big circle in space. And, and my favorite episode was the, uh, the Belter from season three. It was like, I don't know, go make a, pay, a name for that's a, that. That's, a tra that's one thing about uh, not Malo, the, the Expanse. He makes you want to talk like a belter all the time. <laughs> belter Laudamar. Yeah, I love all that stuff. So I remember in the season, I think it was season three. Yeah, it must have been season three. You had this uh, this belter who wanted to make a name for himself. Be the first guy to go through the giant ring. And he goes through it and pff, he splits apart. He's like, he's like going through a brick wall. So they work out basically. They work out what the head was, what it is, and they uh, Holden goes in there, uh, meets. Uh, it goes in there, and he's with Thomas Jane, whatever his character is called. What is this character called again? Uh, I'm looking. Yeah, New Terra. Thomas Jane Miller, uh, and uh, they go down to this planetoid. Which then opens up. It's a, again, I'm working on a rusty memory. It opens up a billion portals to lots of places. So. This is this is a really really interesting shift where for the show to go to because now they uh, they it's, it's essentially you have all this new territory and it, and it's it is gold rush time because there's there's gold in them their hills or at least very expensive for ore. Okay, so the fir first half of the show we're 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 reacquainting ourselves with everybody and it's like I got kind of bored in the first half but I was just so happy to see everyone. I didn't realize. How much I like all the characters in it. Not how much I like, how much, um, how invested I am with a lot of characters. My favorite one is the master. What's his name? Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going for the cast list. No, that's not him. That's the pilot. Like the second one's the pilot. Must be this. Oh yeah, where's where's uh, Chatham? Um, love his character. Second favorite character is the pilot. And yeah, I, I I almost like the 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 person at the head of the UN, the Iranian woman. I think she's Iranian. Um, but you know, I get yeah, you know, I would just like to see a woman in authority on some show 
uh, not being a, a constant bitch, you know, not going from this like Hillary Clinton esque personality, which uh, which yeah, I think that I think that she kind of does have in a lot of ways. Uh, well, okay, the best representation of Hillary Clinton ever on on screen w- would have been uh, what's the, the the show with the uh, uh, Lou Dreyfus? Was it is that her name from Seinfeld? But the guys who did the show with Picard, Capaldi. See, this is what happens when your memory is shot. What's the name of that damn show? Uh, Veep. Yeah, so that's the best, best representation of Hillary Clinton. And I think entirely accurate. Uh, but okay, fine. But we will. So we, we were introduced to everybody. I got myself, I got kind of like, I was struggling to keep my eyes open um, towards the end of the first half. But then suddenly we're, we're on spaceships and we're heading towards some one of these new planets. And we're introduced to new characters. And I'm so excited. I totally forgot he was in it. I read about it like a year ago. But I forgot he was going to be in it. Burn Gorman. Burn Gorman is good in everything I've seen him in. At first I saw him in Torchwood. Um, playing uh, 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 Owen Harper. He's always an interesting actor. He's kind of like. There's, there's a lot going on behind, you know, behind the eyes. Which I really like with him. Uh, he was also in a great movie. Uh, Pacific Rim. Playing this geeky British scientist. Again, really, really, really good. Totally different character. Pulled it off. I've seen him in a few things. So he's in this, and he now he's playing a very, like, uh, well, he's a, he's a villain because he's British. Why is it the Brits are always villains in American things? I, I understand that we, we, you know, we sound kind of similar to you, but we're different. I think it goes back to Die Hard. The first Die Hard, the, the bad guy was, no, it was Hans Gruber. So he was a German. Was he played by a British guy? I can't remember. But it seems like Brits are your go-to villain. He seems clearly like he's going to be a villain. But this is Expanse. And there are no heroes. There are no villains. There are just people. But he seems like kind of a nasty person. What's going on is this. The Belters have run the blockade through the uh, the, the, uh, the portals. And most of them were killed. But a few made it through. And they set up claims on planets. Mining very, very, very uh, valuable ore. So... Bert Gorman plays the the uh, the security officer, I believe, uh, in charge of a uh, mining company that's been given the ore rights by, I think, it's a conglomerate of the UN, the Belters, and Mars, uh, and so he's here to um, express his uh, his um, drilling rights, I guess, his 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 mining rights, and to kick off the uh, uh, the Belters. The Belters are very uh, are going to be very resistant. Yeah, and there's a little bit of small talk as uh, as a landing. Like the last place they went to, they had to pay them off a fortune, but it was worth it to to uh, to get get rid of them. So there's a real tension between these mining companies and and the Belters. Which, by the way, if you want to see a great forebear for that, go back to the 1970s Doctor Who with he um, had the IMC Interna- Interplanetary Inter- Intersonic Mining Corporation. It was called Colony in Space. Uh, John Pertwee story. Completely, for exactly the same setup, like literally the same setup, uh, but like fifty years of uh, of budget and technology on screen. In terms of it's realized much better. So okay, so you got the ship landing, and this is where I started. I, I really, got, first I got my put my my little ears up when when I saw um, um, uh, Burn Gorman. But then boom, boom, boom! You see these holes pop, uh, pop in the, the landing craft, and you know I, I thought, oh, is this a real gun? And the point is. You're not supposed to know what this is. It's a, that's the exciting bit. You don't know, and you, you don't know what's going on. But you have this incredible crash scene, which it's like twenty-three of them die, which is a lot of them, and they're they're helped and supported by the Belters, which are you know their their enemies, but they're still you know human beings. Uh, but there's this really antagonistic, uh, like they're on a knife edge between them, and to, and this is where where Holden and his crew uh, have ended up. The I think the emotional high of this 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 uh, this episode was the clip they released a few months ago when you saw uh, Naomi Naomi w- walk on a uh, a planet for the first time, which was glorious. I love. I mean, again, it's such a payoff for the character and such a development for the character. It's, it's so again, it's so exciting. It's a, it's so exciting to see a good story done well. I love seeing things done well. Fine. So uh, so Holden's there and he's trying to. Stop there being uh, all-out conflicts between the the mining Com- corporation and the Belters. And just as this this swarm of weird-looking insects attack, <laughs> they fly over and attack, and then they um, and then they fly off again. At the end of the episode, Holden picks up one, and it's artificial. It's clearly artificial. So the question is, 
what's going on? Is this the mining party uh, uh, releasing some kind of um, deterrent to 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 get rid rid of the belters? Is this a uh, is this the belters? Uh, using some kind of thing to get get rid of the mining colony, or is this a third party? Is it? I I think I think what what's being being hinted. I'm, look, if you guys been to watch, you probably know already. Um, I think what was being hinted was that the uh, that 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 this is the uh, this is some kind of remnant of the whatever destroyed the people who made the proto uh, proto uh, molecule. So. Um, we again. So it, it, that's where the episode ended. I am excited to watch the next episode, which is what I'm about to do. Let me know what you think. I'm, I'm. Look, I can't imagine this is going to get anything other than than praise to the high heavens because not only is it not woke, which is all that Star Wars, Mandalorian, Star Wars, Mandalorian really needs. It's just not to be woke to get heat with praise. Uh, but it's also clever and layered and real and with, with real, you know, real characters. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm excited to see see where it's going to go. Let me know what you think. Well, put a comment in the comments, and please like, share, and subscribe. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And have a great day. Thank you for listening.